Uh, and we'll start with Windows 10 and move through. We'll kind of ping pong between Windows, Linux, a couple Mac questions, not many Mac, uh, but I did throw a couple in here just to keep it spicy. Uh, so we'll start with the first question here, and it's going to be, can you make YouTube videos sit there paused and when someone's screen comes from, you know, start, you start playing, whatever it is. Now I've done a lot of different ways. There was a fad, I think about 10 years ago where, uh, you'd watch like a little video and then the guy would just pop out. It'd be like some crazy clown guy screaming. Um, and you can actually do that on startup, uh, do media clips. You can do pretty much anything in any operating system. Never think that you're limited by your operating system. You're only limited by, your thoughts so uh, let's jump over to windows and we're gonna look here and this to to make things happen automatically in windows everyone always seems to forget and myself included here seems to forget about task scheduler task scheduler is well an old school app but at the same time very powerful and microsoft still utilizes it quite a bit today so when you go into task scheduler you can do all kinds of different triggers. So as you see, every application still utilizes the crap out of here. So like this disables the lock screen, we can delete that. Um, but you can see like Nvidia GeForce uses quite a bit of scheduled tasks, but there's all kinds of really neat little things you can do in here. Let's, I'm just gonna clean this up real fast as some of these crash reporting things I don't care about, um, but we can actually create a task and you can kind of see some of the things and I'll explain how uh, after creating a task what each one does so if you're going to do something uh, you can actually do the triggers first let's let's name this play audio play a funny audio or play a video whatever actually we'll do video and then you can set the trigger which hey what triggers this task to go off and you can see by hitting new oh 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 uh oh there it goes <laughs> It's like, what's going on with my windows, but no. Um, and you can say, when does this happen? Once on a schedule, you can schedule it like this. You can also do a drop off at login, at startup, on idle. So you can have fun with this. If you want to prank your friends, I would like, I, I like probably like on idle or um, you can do all kinds of funny stuff, but you can see how the triggers are. So you'd set your trigger and then what you do is go over to actions. So once that trigger happens, it moves to actions and then you just click new and then you can just run a program, a script. Uh, you can fire off auto hotkey. You can do all kinds of funny stuff. Like I, I back in the day, pranking people when you, you'd uh, just on idle. Sometimes you just say, hey, okay, eject CD-ROM and just say, hey, and then do a little pop-up. You could write a little script like that and say, hey, check out your cup holder. You know, those types of things, you know, back back when I actually did those kind of shenanigans. Uh, that's a fun fun way to do it, but you just the sky's the limit here. So to answer this question is just do it through task scheduler using just triggers and that basic actions. But you can go way, way deeper. Uh, as you can see, you can do all kinds of different things. Then you get into conditions where you can say, OK, but if this happens, don't do it. And uh, you can you can really uh, have some fun with Task Scheduler. So don't don't forget about Task Scheduler in Windows. Great tool. 